Welcome back to You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. I'm Gary, one of the clinical audiologists and part of the ownership team here with Advanced Hearing Group in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is Earwax Removal Vlog number 67. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a patient whose ears are severely impacted. We're going to start by using the curette and see what we get out. Look at that giant chunk coming out of the ear. As you look at it on the paper towel, it doesn't really look as big, but keep in mind that ear canal is kind of tiny. And when you remove something that large, it can definitely provide some instant relief. This wax, at least at the exterior of the ear canal, seems to be pretty tacky and is holding together really well. Unfortunately, spoiler alert, as we get deeper down the ear canal, it becomes much more soft and the curette doesn't hold together, so we're gonna have to do some irrigation. Please take a moment in the comment section below, let me know how you guys like this new video format. Should I keep doing it this way, or should I go back to the old format where I just do the voiceover of the video? All right, again, we're using that curette, we're getting that to move out. As you see, we go back in there and there's just a ton left. The curette now is starting to go through it pretty easily. So in a few moments, we're going to be using some irrigation to help to get this out. So as the hair cells you're seeing in the ear canal here, one of the common questions I get as I talk with patients in the office is, are those hair cells the hair cells that help you hear? Unfortunately, no. Those hair cells that you see in the ear canal don't have anything to do with your hearing. Their purpose, the hair cells in the ear canal that is, is to help to keep the ear free of dirt and debris, keep things from going too far down the ear canal. On the other hand, the hair cells that actually help us hear are in our cochlea, or the inner ear. We, they consist of both inner and outer hair cells, and these types of hair cells are stimulated and cause an electrical potential, which stimulates the auditory nerve. That's how we hear. Sound goes down through the ear canal, hits the eardrum, moves the ossicular chain, the three bones in the middle ear, causes a fluid wave in the cochlea, which makes the hair cells move, which cause an electrical potential to stimulate the auditory nerve. Your hearing really is an amazing thing. All right, now that we've used the irrigation, you're getting a pretty good view of the eardrum, but we want to get the rest of this out. No need to leave it down in the ear canal. Look at that chunk as we pull that out of there with the curette. That's looking really good. And there's a nice view of the eardrum behind. Let's get this out and see if that's it or if there's anything else we want to clean up. And that's what came out at that point. Eh, there's still a little bit there at the top of the ear canal. We're just going to take a moment to remove that. And then we should be finished. If you like these wax removal videos, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help us with the YouTube algorithm and helps us get our videos in front of more people. Our goal is to educate and entertain. We're giving a good view of the eardrum and you're learning a little bit about how the hearing works. This has been You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.